Well, a few years ago, there was a movie called Rain Man in which Dustin Hoffman played the role of an autistic savant. Well, savants are mentally impaired people who have amazing gifts, usually in the arts, music, or mathematics, and they do exist in real life, some even at a school in Anaheim. Eric Spillman visited the school recently, and he joins us now from the newsroom with more. Eric? Carlos, the school is called Hope University. Its students are retarded or autistic. The rest of society usually gives up on these people, but they haven't given up on themselves. They truly are incredible. Gary Ahern and Paul Keene are two of the most remarkable musicians you will ever see perform. They're remarkable for what they've had to overcome and for what they've been able to achieve. Both men have severe handicaps. Both are retarded. Paul is also blind. Both would probably still be locked up and kept medicated in a hospital if it weren't for this place. They are students at Hope University in Anaheim, the only arts college in the country for mentally retarded people with special talents. Here, 30 students learn such things as dance and drawing. People who've been dismissed as idiots for most of their lives are able to show what they can do, especially in the field of music. Okay, go ahead. The reading, writing, math skills are extremely difficult. And uh, with all of our students, math being the hardest, uh, money, that kind of uh, area, extremely difficult for our students. But you're, uh, and some people say that's left brain activity, the right brain activity, the music and the arts they're very, very good at. Gary Ahern is a good example of that. He has Prater Willie's syndrome condition that makes it almost impossible for him to communicate. He has trouble speaking. He does not read music. And yet he can play piano concertos by Rachmaninoff from memory. He can play almost any instrument he decides to play. He plays most any song he's ever heard. He plays any key he wants to. He makes his arrangements up as he goes from day to day. They've been given talents in those areas that most of us don't have. They don't have to that extent. Plus a tremendous, tremendous interest. So they're willing to spend hours working on it and it's not work it's fun paul Keene is another amazing story here he is autistic and blind yet he plays the drums sings in the university's music group and can tell you who recorded just about any pop tune as long as you give him the name of a song you know all the beatles songs yeah you could, i could tell you when did the white album come out the white album came out in 68 back in november of 68 revolver when did that come that out? was in 66 what was the Beatles' first album? Meet the Beatles. And what was their second album? Their second album was that, that Beatles' second. That was, uh, that was the one. Roadrunner. Oh, that, uh... <laughs> Roadrunner, that was 1966, I think. What was it, 65? That was the gas. 65. How about Inagata De Vida? That's the Iron Butterfly. What year was that? 1968. Uh, eight Miles High. The Birds. Rubber Band Man. Spinners. And what year was that? That was 1976. Do you know how high that uh, that record got on the charts? No, I don't know. Okay. I stumped you. Keen's strength is his singing. Though he has difficulty speaking, he sings in several languages, including Italian. has an access to music memory um, that most of us do not have. If we could figure out how they access this memory, wouldn't it be wonderful? Stop Truly 
amazing stuff there. Uh, these people have been featured in all kinds of magazines and newspapers. They perform all over the country, and yet you see them, and you still can't help asking or saying to yourself, it's just incredible what they're able to do. Carla? So little is known, Eric, about all of this. Now, she just mentioned something about the memory and tapping into that. Uh, uh, is creativity any part of this? Well, that's what people originally thought about these people, that they just had incredible photographic memories and they could remember just about anything once they heard it or saw it once. But now they're finding out that uh, these people are able to compose music. Uh, some of the students in the, in the university can write songs, so they do exercise some creativity after they've been trained a little bit. Very interesting. Eric Spillman, thanks very much for that.